subtracting across zeros with money. The first thing you want to do when you're subtracting with any number is go to the smallest place value. In this case, the smallest place value is going to be the hundredths place. There's zero in the top number. We cannot subtract because we'll have to go next door to ungroup. When we go next door to the, the tenths place, there's a zero. We cannot ungroup from here because there's zero. We go next door again to the ones place and there's nothing there so we cannot ungroup. We keep going till we get to the tens place where we have a two. We can ungroup that two by crossing it out and we're going to leave one group there. We're going to take that one group that we took away and we're going to add it here to the ones place. Now there's ten in the ones place. But that still didn't help me with my smallest place value in the hundredths. I need to cross off my ten to ungroup. I'm going to leave nine there. I'm going to take that one group and I'm going to move it right here to the tenths place. Now that I have ten in the tenths place, that still didn't help me in the hundredths. Let me cross it out again. It's going to become a nine. That one group is going to come over. And finally, I have something I can work with in the hundredths place. Ten, take away six, is four. Nine, take away two, is seven. Let me bring my decimal point straight down. I want to try and keep everything lined up as nicely as I can. Um, in my ones place, I have nine, take away seven, which is two. And then I'm left with one take away one in the tens place, which is zero, so I'm not going to write anything there. And then I am going to bring my dollar sign down. When I have $20 or a $20 bill and I take away $17.26, I end up with a total of $2.74.